Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I should say welcome back to me because I feel like I've been gone forever. So I got back from the beach last Saturday and today is Thursday and it has taken me all these days to catch up with things here at home. So I'm just sitting down to film a video and I apologize that I missed a video upload that hasn't happened except I think in three years, twice. So I promised you guys a vlog and I tried to do it you guys but I was so distracted. All my kids, my grandchildren, just so much going on. So I'm sorry about that but I will share some photos of our vacation. We went to Panama City like we do every year and then the second leg of the trip, almost two weeks at the beach, you guys, and I'm looking at the monitor and I don't look as tanned on the monitor. I think the lights are fading me out, but I, I'm pretty tanned. You can see some tan lines, but I don't really try to tan, but I'm a lot browner in person than I'm showing up on the monitor. But anyway, yeah, almost two weeks at the beach and I'm just getting caught up. So for today's video, I want to talk to you guys about my Oran sandals. You guys know these were my very first Oran sandals that I purchased and I've had questions about them and I remember I tried them on for you guys and I would say 70% of you said they looked like they were perfect and then there were a lot of you that said I needed to size up. So, I wanted to follow up with you guys on what I decided to do, talk about my first impressions, and really just get back into the swing of filming. So, if you want to see what I think about my Orion sandals, stick around. Before we get into all of that, let me show you my bag of the week. I've been carrying this for a couple of days, and it is my Coach Ergo bag. Is that how you say it? E-R-G-O? I think, I think that's how you say it. And it's in this fabulous green color, you guys. I absolutely love this bag. And I know I'm guilty of saying that I don't like a hobo, but you guys, I think I do. <laughs> I think I'm back into hobos. I love this one. And it comes in another color, kind of a tan color. I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna be happy with this green one. And as Autumn says, I'll give it a spin. This is a really big hobo. I love it. It has so much stuff in it. I need to do, here we go again with the straps getting in the way. It has a lot of stuff in it. So I need to do what fits because everything, everything fits in this bag. It is a great bag and it's not really heavy for the size. So anyway, this is my bag of the week. I'll link it below if I can find it. I have written down some things because you guys, when you go on an almost two week vacation and then you come home, it's really hard to pick back up where you left off. And like I was saying earlier, I think I got off track. We went to Panama City for the first week and the second week we went to Seagrove Beach. And it was just beautiful, had a fabulous time. But yeah, with any vacation, no matter where I go, I'm always happy to be back home again. So I do have a few things I wanna talk about and do a review on my Oran sandals and let you guys know exactly how I feel about them, how I feel about the sizing, and I have something else to share with you. Okay, so I am just I wrote some notes down and, <laughs> and I don't usually do that. I usually have an idea, I might jot a few things down, but I seriously wrote down some notes for this video. I wanted to talk about the Nordstrom sale. I've been watching videos and I've been working on a wish list and you know, just putting in a few really clothing items. I don't buy a lot of clothing and when I do, I usually shop at Nordstrom or Walmart.com, you guys. You know I love to shop there, but I am making a wish list and I will share with you whatever it is I buy. I just noticed a lot of the influencers who have been putting the Nordstrom videos up choose the same items. Have you guys noticed that? It just looks like they do. And I mean, if you were like a big influencer, you could go to Nordstrom, they would set you up in a room, you know, and just, um, you know, it'd be awesome. But I am at the, I think I'm at the influencer status 
what is the top status? It's not the top, but I do buy a lot at Nordstrom, so I get to start shopping tomorrow. So I just wanted to talk about that. Um, I really last year didn't have a good experience with it because most of the things that I wanted, by the time I could shop, and even an influencer says was just sold out. So we'll see how it goes this year. I mean, it's not really a big deal. I do have a wish list, nothing, you know, special really to speak of. And I wanted to also talk about the Louis Vuitton website. You guys, have you been just looking on the website? There is nothing available. Now, sometimes, you know, it'll come back. But I literally have been thinking that I would like to pick up some more canvas pieces because, I mean, I do like to buy new. I have nothing, I have nothing against uh, pre-loved and at all. But I do prefer to buy new, so I thought that I would love to pick up some more Louis Vuitton canvas. And I went on there and I thought, you know, even though I'm not a speedy girl, I think I would love to just have the regular... Speedy 25 in the Azure. It's not available, so I might try to hook up with Becca and I will list her information below. She's Autumn's sales associate and she's also helped me before, so I would like to have that or a Neverfull in Azure. And I have some special pieces that I have actually Autumn picked up for me that I am going to unbox with you guys, So, but not on this video. So anyway, but the Louis Vuitton website. There is nothing available. I mean, is it really not available? Or do they try to make it look like they are so scarce that you want it even more? I really would like to know what you guys think is going on with the Louis Vuitton website. I cannot believe it. I would say that out of everything that I was looking for, I might have found like one or two items. So yeah, it's just really weird what's going on there and their prices they're going you know everybody knows they're going with more leathers they're not Chanel they're never going to be Chanel and Chanel is not Hermes and they're never going to be Hermes but I think that there's some kind of competition thing going on there I don't know that's just what I feel like you guys tell me what you think is going on all right so I have a breaking news flash for you guys and I really, honestly, other than picking up a little bit, a few pieces of canvas before it's like $10,000 a piece, um, I'm just really right now over buying bags. I've actually sold a few of my bags that you guys don't know about. So I need to do an updated handbag video very soon in my closet. Everybody loves that. But I've sold some bags. I have several for sale right now. Here's one. I have never carried it. It's beautiful. It is Kurt Geiger. It was in the video that Keith was in. Look at this, look at this beauty. I don't know why I'm considering selling it, but I just haven't reached for it and it has the sequins. It is absolutely spectacular. So if you're interested in this bag, just you know, let me know. It's brand new, you guys. I took the tags off, but I've never carried it. I have it stuffed. It is a beautiful bag. I feel like I might regret it if I do sell it, but at the same time, I want to buy fewer bags and Really, to be honest with you, I do want more Hermes. I'm wanting to get an Hermes and Evelyn, and I would absolutely love to get another Birkin in a 30 and a Kelly. So, I mean, those are pricey bags, so I need to stop buying so many other bags. So, that's really where I am right now because I looked at my collection. I have a fabulous collection. The only thing right now that I'm looking for, and I may buy it brand new, and probably will really, um, is the Chanel Walk. I really want that. I don't know. I just, I don't sell many bags, but at the same time, I'm going to buy fewer and far between bags and try to add a few more Hermes pieces to my collection. And really more than that, what I'm really looking to buy right now is to buy more gold. I've been, I have some really nice gold jewelry, but 
I never have really been a huge jewelry person, but lately I've just really been wanting some gold jewelry. And so anyway, I don't know. I'm just moving in a different direction. Now I'm not saying I'm not going to be buying bags because you guys know I will, but ju they're just going to be fewer and farther between. And I, but I cannot tell you how happy I am with this one. Solid leather, smells like leather, feels like butter, and the color is fabulous. <laughs> so I just love it. But I'm just going to really, really um, tone it down, you guys, if that's possible. I don't know. I just feel like sometimes. The older we get, we get, I'm not really, well, I think the, the older we get, we tend to start appreciating more classics, things that we add to our um, wardrobe or just accessories, anything like that. We appreciate more classics, and although I'm not really a classic dresser, I am if I go certain places, but on an everyday basis, no, I'm not a classic dresser. I'm more bohemian. That is just my style, but I do like more classic pieces, and my Birkin, I love it, but I would love to add a 30, so as I told you guys, hopefully in August, I'm going to be going to Atlanta. I'm going to visit the Hermes store. I'm going to make an appointment and go in and try to learn more about the brand, maybe make a wish list. We shall see what happens there. I have quite a few collaborations coming up. I have one with Autumn, one with Winnie, and one with Tanya of Bits and Bags. So that's three collaborations that I have coming up. Okay, I think that is all. I just feel like I really need to catch up with you guys. I think that's all I've written down here. So. Now, when I, you guys, when I purchased, okay, so you guys know I recently purchased these two pair of Oran sandals, my very first. I had never tried them on. I had never seen them. Well, I've seen them in person on other people, <laughs> but I went with, and I watched a lot of videos and I went with a 38, which is a size eight, which is my true size. Sometimes I do wear a seven and a half, sometimes eight. Uh, I could probably always wear a seven and a half if my feet weren't wide. They're not super wide, but they're on the wide side of normal. So I just want to explain it to you guys. Now, when I try these on, I think a lot of you said, oh, you need to size up a half a size. And then most of you said, no, they're perfect. Okay, so I was a bit confused at first because I was like, my heel does come right here, right here to the edge, right? Okay, so then I kind of measured them and I forgot to bring them up here. The ones that I had gotten from Amazon about three years ago that I've worn nonstop or might be just a tiny bit longer, but you guys, these are really comfortable on me and this is that leather that stretches and I had so many people message me and say the leather will stretch and then you know your feet will mold to the shoe and I've been wearing I didn't take these to the beach because when I go to the beach I'm just wearing like Birkenstocks or flip-flops I didn't really want to take these to the beach and we didn't really go out a lot but I kept the ones I ordered. I thought about keeping these because I had worn them around the house quite a bit. I haven't worn them out yet. And I thought about, you know, sending this pair back and getting an eight and a half, but you know what? They're super comfortable on me. I, I love the way they look. I love the way they look in the front. So it does feel like they've started to stretch out a bit and I don't even really need them to, but if they do stretch out, I don't want my feet or my toes come you know, I don't want them flying forward. And I don't want a lot back here because I don't know, I feel like it would be awkward or I don't know. I just, I really like this size. So I kept them because basically they're very comfortable. Now, you would think that I would stop with the two pair, right? Well, here we go again. <laughs> so what do you guys think about these? they're not Hermes. Okay. I looked for the other ones that Autumn had found me and it's been almost three years and they were from Amazon and I knew I wouldn't find them because like I said, you guys, a lot of times I 
list things from Amazon, but they will take it down and then you'll get like the dogs of Amazon or something page and they will take them down, rename that, rename it and put it back up. So you're really lucky if you find it again. But anyway, this is a brand called La Rosa Style. I found this, I don't know where I found it actually. Maybe it was when I was looking for the Amazon. I might have put in, I don't really know how I found these to be honest with you guys, but I found them. And they were around $69. Now I will tell you in the ones, and the people, those of you who know, I think that the Hermes white sandals now, they used to be like this with this tanned color, but I think they're all white now. But anyway, I wanted to show these to you guys and I will post the website for you because they have all colors and these are super, super comfortable. And I did size up to a 39 on these and they fit fine. I think they're a little bit longer than my Hermes. I mean, uh, see, just a smudge. Just, no, not a smudge, <laughs> a smidge, okay, right there. So maybe that's a half a size. Maybe the next time I order Hermes sandals, I might try the eight and a half. But like I said, I'm happy with this size. It's very comfortable. I've worn them enough around the house to where I feel good about them. But see, these are a little bit bigger and they are a 39. So, but look at them, okay? So, okay, so look at these. These are Hermes, what, $640 plus tax, La Rosa style, and they are not even $70. I can't remember exactly how much. Look at them, aren't they gorgeous? So, these will be my just running around. I will wear these a lot. Now, I don't buy my nice things like this to sit in my closet. I wear them. But probably just running around, I probably will get a lot of wear out of these, you guys. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I was super excited. They look to be really good quality. There's, you know, you can see a difference. But these are the Hermes. And these are the La Rosa styles. So I thought about getting a white pair of Hermes, but I think I'm just going to wear these for now. And if I do get another color, maybe in the spring, I'll probably go for a bright pop of color. But um, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm really happy with these. I'm happy with the sizing. I'm happy with the way they feel. They feel fantastic on me. So yeah, I feel like the, I feel like I could go 38 or 38 and a half, either way. But if this stretches a lot and I won't really know until I wear them more, that's, that's the point I'm trying to make with all this rambling on until I wear these for about a year, I'm not really going to know how it's going to be, but right now they're perfect, but I feel like they will stretch out a bit, which will push my toes forward a bit and give me more room here. But right now my heel is right here. But anyway, yeah. So I think it'll take a, a, a good six months, eight months, a year to really know for sure. And like I said, in August, um, I will hopefully go to the Hermes store in Atlanta. And if they have more, I'll try them on. But I'm happy with my purchase, you guys. So tempted to get the authentic white ones. But who would know? I mean, who would know? You would probably think I had on the older version because of this camel color here, but the new version has the all white. So that's that. <laughs> and I will be doing some styling and doing some outfits of the day on, uh, on my Instagram page for you guys. So check me out there at Yota Style Lux, L-U-X. And something that I always forget to say, I always forget to say all that YouTube stuff subscribe, like, comment, share, you know, I would love, love to get to 5,000 subscribers. I would love to get there before Christmas because then I could do another giveaway and I could give it, do a giveaway at Christmas as well. So Christmas, I'm going to do a Christmas painting for you guys. 
Okay, so that's really all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to tell you I'm super happy with this purchase. I'm super happy with the size. I feel like I could go either way. Oh, when I went to the beach, I was gonna carry that bag. I forgot it. It's been hanging up here, so I totally forgot it. I haven't had a, a chance to carry that cute little boho bag. Oh, this is a bag that I've had forever. It's the Lucky brand. I love anything boho, you know that. So. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in another day. And I will see you guys, so that's all I have for you guys today, and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys in another video, and I will, All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again. Stay cool and stay fan dabby dozy. <laughs>